A new year calls for new and improved homemaking skills. But as I would always say, we should always be trying to improve and better ourselves in whatever we do, whether that be making our food for our families, caring for our home, being a wife, being a mother, being um, an outside of home working mom, whatever it may be, it is always time to improve. So here's to a new year, to making things the best that you can in the situations and the places that you are at caring for my children getting them ready getting myself ready and then caring for my home are things that I will continue to strive for perfection which will never be but I like to take care of what I have been given and so I try to keep this routine of cleaning my hardwood floors once a week and yes I get on my hands and knees still because I can't I guess and it's just easier to get some of those corners and under areas and I just like to um, see the improvements as I go along and so this is something I'll continue to work on is caring for my home and of course keeping that weekly cleaning schedule that I have. Spending time with my girls in the morning never gets old. There's always something new to do, something that changes in their growth and their um, just life and maturity. So I love spending time with them. Yes, healthy is something I always strive for too with our family. So I am making some nutritious protein bars. You've seen this recipe before, but I will put it in the description box for you. So health is important in my family and I like to make sure I have healthy snacks around and definitely have my little one help me when needed because she loves to snack on things when I make it. She loves to help stir and I think that's important as well to improve your homemaking is to teach your little ones. to me what I put in my body food wise as it is important for what I put into my body with mind soul whatever it may be so that is why I do make healthier foods when I can of course I don't always but here is to that being a goal this year too Here's a quick glance at our leftover soup we had warmed up, Zupa Toscana, yummy. The constant upkeep of a house includes Swiffering multiple times a day, but that's something that you can strive for is just taking those couple minutes to do a little tidy, do a little clean. That way you feel better about resetting your kitchen. I've said this before, reset your space for the next thing. And that gives me time to make myself a latte. We are loving our espresso machine. So if you're interested in espresso machine, it's an investment, but it is oh so delicious to have one of your own. Taking time for myself is also important and that's something as a homemaker we need to do. But today I'm editing a video during my girls' nap time so you get to see me do that. And laundry, finally starting a load of laundry. So again, just caring for the home, continuing the role as a homemaker in this way, caring for the home and dusting and just these routine things that can seem mundane but that you know, you can strive for improvement in this new year and to maybe have a better mindset about it and to have your little ones help and get their Swiffer out and their little duster and see what they can do, even if it just means smearing it on the wall or wiping the blinds or asking to do it even when I'm not doing, which little Nevea has done. So just trying to stay 
motivated in your homemaking and disciplined as well because it takes discipline to do things that can be monotonous. Today's supper is a black bean butternut squash stew and it turned out really well. It was so good. So my squash are about four months old so they're getting a little bit stringy on the inside so I knew I needed to use them and it it's just a recipe that I highly recommend if you enjoy. Um, it had kind of an Indian style taste to it but I'll link the recipe for you. So just making nutritious food again for my family is a goal that I have for this year. So I'm just sauteing some mushrooms and uh, peppers. It did not call for those, but I needed to use them out of the fridge anyways. And then some onions and garlic, of course, for some added flavor. black beans and some Italian seasonings going in as well as some allspice which really makes it good and let that simmer for 20 minutes and then you add your chicken broth or I just had water and some canned coconut milk and that just made it really creamy and delicious and then I did end up adding some chicken to add a little boost of protein my husband prefers foods with meat in them but if you go meatless this is really great too up my daughters with some brown rice some of the stew and then some diced avocado and just again like I said striving for health in the foods that we take into our bodies I think is important and a goal that I have and always will have for my family finished caring for my home with folding that laundry so you know, it's 2022. I hope you feel inspired and motivated to be the best homemaker that you can be in this year. And just do what you can in the time that you have with the people that you have. So I love you guys and I'll talk with you in the next one.